Yo, what's up everybody? It's King Wolf. Welcome to today's video and in today's video I'm going to show you guys a mini scheme that's virtually unstoppable man if you just run it right now before we get into this man make sure you drop a like on the video we need 45 million likes on this video and it starts with you man I can't reach 45 million unless unless you hit the like button you know what I mean so like you know we get maybe 2,000 views and only a hundred people liking the video now nah, bro need 45 million that means everybody's got to hit the like button so hit the like button bro also subscribe to the channel for more content when the patch comes out things are going to change you're going to want to know what works and what doesn't and all the new stuff that's going to start working because that's just how patches work bro they fix one thing break five more you know what i mean and i'm going to be right there with my hands out ready to ready to uh, uh, feed you guys you know what i mean anyway i want to give a shout out to the newest members of the wolf pack also members make sure you're checking the community tab in the paid member section only that's where I post like the exclusive stuff. So in case you guys don't know where I'm posting all the member content, it, it's there. I don't know if they notify you. I don't know how it works as far as YouTube. But I will be dropping a scheme only for members coming soon, probably within the next week. It's going to be a full scheme. Full scheme breakdown is going to be like 20 minutes long, bro. I'm going to tell you guys right now. You're going to want to know this scheme. Now I want to give a shout out to the newest members of the Wolfpack. Lafrage, Lazane, Demetrius Spriggs, Rory Mitchell. Gerald Hankerson, Lucky One, That Guy, James Holt, Seasickness 3, Rico Durant, Andrew Luck, 5'6", 2013, ERJ1971, Ammo the Kid Ashmore, Ellie Back 24, Trey Robinson, Vincent Wallace, Kenneth Woodruff, Brant Williams, Cairo Roberts, Magic Knowles, AJ Bennett, Eric Moreno, Terrence Carter. These guys are the newest members of the Wolfpack. If you want to become a member, the link is in the description now we're gonna be in the Saints playbook bro just follow my lead right because I'm gonna show you guys how to put it into cover two as well as cover three there's a route that gets open in cover three no matter what they do okay remember Saints playbook name of the play it's gonna be the double I mean the actual formation it says gun doubles offset what you want to do is in this position put your fastest wide receiver so Ted Ginn Tyree Kill Brandon Cooks whoever your fastest guy is you're gonna put him right here where I have Ginn okay now, the name of the first play we're going to talk about is the Fade Smash. Your opponent running a lot of cover two on you, they won't after this play. Trust me, okay? So, Fade Smash, follow my lead. I'm going to take you guys to the promised land. So, right here in cover two defense, all we're going to do is shade over the top, pass commit. You could do hard flats, but it makes the play even better. So, I want to make sure that we're at a disadvantage already. So what we're going to do here is we're going to block our running back, okay? Well, then what we're going to do is we're going to motion Thomas in. Check this out, homies. And we're going to put X on a streak, and then you can drag either A or B. If they're blitzing heavy in cover two, like out of a 5-2 fire zone, then block your tight end. If they're not, you can drag your tight end and then do whatever you want with B. So what I think is pretty cool is if they're not, they're just playing coverage defense, drag the tight end. Smart route, the B route on an in route. So now you have like a levels concept on the left side. But that's not the route we're looking for, bro. You guys already see it. Look at the red play art, man. You have your fast wide receiver over there. I'm going to slide protect left because I'm going to go left. I don't know if that guy's going to blitz me on the left side. Boom, he's not. He's in coverage. And then I just fired over here to the sideline, bro. Check this out. Boom. And in Madden 20, that's a catch. Inbounds. That's not out of bounds. I know, I know you guys know what I mean. That's an inbounds catch. You know how many times I've thrown this play against cover two? And that's a catch, even though it looks like he's out of bounds. You know what? He is out of bounds, right? But in Madden 20, they don't care, bro. You can catch it out of bounds, and it's called a catch, man. I don't know why. I, I, I don't get it. It's like worse than – it's the worst Madden as far as being catching balls out of bounds. This is the worst Madden I've ever seen where you do that. Uh, unless someone can point me in the right direction to a worse one. So – Right here, it's hard flats on cover two because I'm running random cover two. But check this out, dudes. Okay? Check this out. You motion this guy in, put him on a streak, right? And then drag A. Do whatever you want with B. You don't really need to put him. You can just do it. You You can put him on like a smoke screen if you want, bro. You know? He could be your, your, your bailout route too if they're not playing hard flats. But check this out, man. In hard flats, look at this. I can already throw this and then just catch and run. Catch and run, bro. Like that's a TD automatically. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to make it to where it's going to be harder for us if they play hard flats in cover two. Right here, 
just run inside zone, bro. You know what I mean? Just, and he's still going to stop me in inside zone. Now, inside zone in this play is pretty good. That's going to be a run play we go over probably right after this play because I want you guys to know that it's actually a good run play in this as well. And if you have a running back with armbar, it's just going to be phenomenal. So motioning Thomas in, putting him on a streak, block the running back, right? Drag the tight end just like this. Okay. Boom, boom. Wait for him to break to the outside and then possession catch right here. Well, he didn't catch it right there, but whenever I play online, I always catch the ball. I'm, I never, there's never been a time where I throw it out of bounds or, well, you know what? I'm lying. Before I had the John Elway card, who did I, I had a Russell Wilson. Yeah, bro, I was throwing it out of bounds. I'm not gonna lie. Why sit here and lie? X on a streak, drag A. Might want to throw it a little bit earlier too. It's all about the timing. It's where you take this into the lab and then you go practice it yourself, bro. You know what I'm saying? Probably right there would be the best bet. Boom, that's a catch. I'm gonna run this play one more time for you guys. You get the idea. Just motion X in, put him on a streak. I'm gonna shade over the top, okay, just to make it harder. You can hit the drag route if you want, if they're playing over the top coverage. You can do that as well. Look, let me just show you guys real quick. Boom, got this guy right here. You can just get whatever yards you can. It's not gonna be a lot of yards uh, because of that cloud flat. But because the, the fade route breaks so fast that the cloud can just come down immediately because he's already getting smoked by the wire route. You know what I'm saying? So he can come down. But if they do shade over, you could still throw the route. It doesn't have to be the drag. But if the user actually runs over there and jumps that route, boom. Boom, just like that's a catch, inbounds. I'm telling you guys, man, cover two beater, crazy. Now let me show you guys. I'm gonna put the ball on the left side now, okay? Now just follow my lead, I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna show you guys the cover three play and it doesn't matter what variation of the cover three they run, this play is gonna get open regardless, bro. Okay, it's and it, I don't know if, I guess it is a glitch, man, but there's nothing we can do about it. All right, it's, it's just the way it is. The name of the play is the PA comeback seam. Doesn't matter what cover three, I don't even think cover three deep is gonna do anything, okay? Now, this is hard flats. I might as well show you, just let, let it rip. I'll put curl flats, but it doesn't matter what they run. What you're gonna do here is, you're gonna cancel the play action, you're gonna motion the B guy over. He's gonna come all the way to the other side, okay? And then drag A. A is the bait. Cover three defense, man, I want you guys to see the X route. Every single time we run a cover three, no matter the adjustment, this guy's gonna be wide open. Doesn't matter what cover three they run. Now, how do you stop it? You're gonna have to man the guy up. You can't put purples, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna put purples and I'm gonna pass commit over there. Doesn't matter uh, if you, as long as you motion this guy over, put A on a drag. It doesn't matter if it's purples. The pur the purples don't care about it. They don't care about that route. Let me show you what I mean. They don't recognize the route, bro. You see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna consistently put purples out there, just consistently. Here we go. Look, we'll baseline put purples out there. I'll even give my man's over here a head start over here to guard this. But it's, it's got to be a glitch route that I found. Drag A, bring uh, the comeback route from the right side over so the play art looks like this. Know what I'm saying? And the purple does not care about the comeback route. He doesn't care about it. He ignores it and he does what he wants. Now that's purples with pass commit. I'm going to keep running it in purple so you guys can see. Purples, pass commit. Okay? I'll give the guy a head start. Just like that, he's, he's over there waiting in a purple. But like I said, it's a glitch play to where the purple does not recognize it as a route being ran. I'm telling you guys right now, it'll get open every single time. There he comes, you just wait, wide open. Every single time against cover three defense. I'm giving you guys some of the, you're not gonna find plays like this in eBooks, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna find plays in eBooks like this. So remember, we're gonna, let me put some different adjustments out there. Now, the way to stop it is to, you know what, I don't know if you can even man up that guy. Let me put this blue, this uh, X route on an outside third, okay? Or we can actually put him, something like that. Okay, let's see if that, that helps, okay? I mean, you may have to put it inside a, a quarter. You're gonna have to do something, bro, and I don't even know if that's gonna work. Because like I said, it's a comeback route designed to beat man defense. So even if they're, covering it really well it doesn't matter bro he's going for the wire out so it doesn't really matter what that guy does it doesn't matter now we could try to man him up 
You know what I'm saying? I mean, the, the only way is the only way someone's gonna stop it is if they're actually good at Madden. So if I play like this, you could actually man him up to this guy, you know what I'm saying? But now you're playing with fire, or you could keep that cloud. Well, you know what? Let me just show you guys. You could play hard flats. Let me reset the play. I'm gonna try to make this as hard as I can on myself, okay? Just so you guys can see uh, how it's gonna be. So we're gonna cover the flat, cover the drag, then we're gonna cover, we're gonna man this guy up, all right? Boom. We're gonna motion this guy back. If he's manned up, okay? The comeback route should still beat the man defense. Actually, on the comeback route. So if he follows him, like he's doing right there, back on the comeback route. So even manning him up, it's it's a ferocious play, dudes. I'm telling you right now. Against cover three, even cover four is the same way. Any curl flat in the game is not going to recognize the route, bro. I'm curl flatting and I'm pass committing. Like I said, there is no route. As long as you're on the left hash, you got to run it on the left hash. It won't work if you if you have the, the white side of the field. You won't. It won't work. It only works on the left hash, bro. Okay? It only works the way I'm running it right now. It doesn't work any other way. Did I? Yeah, I dragged him. The curl flat doesn't care. Boom. This guy's wide open. Every single time. Every single time. Okay, now I just want to show you guys real quick the, the inside zone. Not my favorite inside zone, but it's still an effective one. Depending on your running back too, man. Depending on your O-line as well. You know what I'm saying? But still decent enough to get you some yards. So what you're going to do with that comeback route, you're going to force your opponent out of cover three. You're going to force him out of cover three with the fade smash. It's just so many. Look at this, bro. I'm telling you guys, the inside zone's decent. It's a decent run play. I'm go ahead and go to it again. And this is all in the Saints playbook for, for, for people that don't know. Now, if they're all out blitzing you, okay, you can run a play. Let me come back to the right hash. Just flip the play accordingly to, to whatever side you're on. But there's a play in here that I want to show you guys. We're going to run the... The three, the three, four version, the three, four pinch. I'm gonna show you guys just how to destroy the man defense. We'll just do man blitz and we'll do pinch buck zero. And then what we're gonna do is come back to the same set, okay? And then you're just gonna run this play that I'm gonna show you right now. It is called the FL spot, okay? Now we have our fastest wide receiver right here on the floor, which is again, he's already on a zig route. Now what we need to do is, right, we're gonna max protect. First, let's set up our blitz. Wait, I, I don't know why I did, hold on, look. No, not baseline. Show blitz, right? Blitz all linebackers, QB contain, spread out, just like that. And then what we're gonna do here is on offense, once you see something like this, you know they're coming for you in a man defense, right? So you're gonna max protect LB or L1 right stick up for max protect. Then you're gonna slant the X guy and you're going to out route this guy. All right, and the reason we're doing that is so the zig, rat, the zig route gets wide open. Look at Gin, bro, look at Gin on, the, on this play right here, right? Catch and run, and then try to bust it to the outside. Now, you're not going to bust it down the field all the time, but I'm going to tell you guys right now. I'm going to tell you guys right now. There's going to be a there's going to be times where he does. You know what I'm saying? There's going to be times where he does bust it to the outside. Now, what you can do is you can motion this guy over like this. Check this out, bro. Okay. Let's set it up. And then what I like to do is, or what I would do is I would streak X, right? Zig Y and then slant B. So it looked like this. Now, why would I do that? Because he's pressing me. He's pressing Gin right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? Gin's fast. So if I see that he can get some separation, I'll hit him. But if not, like right there, got separation, boom, over the top. That's, that, that, that's how I play. You don't have to play that risky. But you can. Also, what I didn't do is I didn't look for uh, uh, one of those sidestep routes on a street. I don't know what they're officially called. Maybe some one of you guys know. But let me see if they do have it. Then we could just make our own. Uh, I don't think they do have it, though. I really don't think. I don't see it right now. Four verts don't have it. Uh, yeah, nothing has it. Okay, so just set it up the way I showed you guys. Um, it's an awesome scheme. Very good cover three beater. Very good cover two beater in this set, bro. I'm telling you right now. Improve your game dramatically. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Become a member of the Wolfpack. Love you guys, man. Peace.